you've got to be 100% in. And I question whether she is, you know, not only for being on such a long layoff. I mean, mm. usually when a fighter is a fighter and they lose, they want to get right back in there because it's that competitive side, that competitive streak where they just want to get back in there. They want redemption. They want revenge. Whatever it is, that fire just is burning brighter than ever in them. And then, you know, Ronda's taken a year and some change off. She seems reluctant. She wants to talk to the media. She, and it just makes me wonder. It makes me wonder where she's at, you know? And, and I can relate to that exhausted feeling, that feeling of not feeling like you're 100% in it. And I think maybe she's at her maximum load of pressure right now. Maybe that's why she's not willing to engage with the media. Maybe that's why she doesn't want to take on that extra pressure because she already has a lot of pressure on her back. Conor McGregor has been the guy that we have all been talking about in the UFC. Before his success that we've seen in 2016, it was all Ronda, always. Is it something that she can get back to with a win? Can she get to that status again? I think she could, but I don't think she will. Even if she wins, the reason why is because she doesn't want to talk to the media. She's just done with it. And I, I and that just, again, makes me wonder, is she done with everything? You know, if she doesn't want to do the media, she doesn't want to do the open workouts, how can you expect to compete with Conor McGregor, whose his face is in the media always? He's talking a big game, and he's backing it up. Regardless of what we see from Ronda Rousey, you're saying she's a different person, different mentality, and she will never be able to get back to the greatness that she had before. Because I think she doesn't want to. Not because I don't think that she can. You know, I think Ronda is one of the best fighters in the world, and I think that a lot of people love what she's been able to accomplish. But I don't think she wants to talk to media. I don't think she wants to be engaged. I don't think she wants to be in that forefront. Who you got to win? I'm picking Amanda. Okay. Yeah, I'm picking Amanda. Not because I think that Ronda can't win this fight. She very well could. But I just think that one, one good punch is going to land, um, you know, and, and Amanda commits. And when she does, I mean, I think it's going to resonate in Ronda's head.